If you want free software for your computer, you have many choices. Now I'm going to show you 5 of the most useful free software programs that are available for Windows, Mac and Linux. So without further delay, let's begin this journey. The Waterfox web browser is our first piece of free and open source software. Nearly all browsers now are based on the Chromium platform, including Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and the Brave browser. A distinct approach is taken by Waterfox, which is based on Firefox. While Firefox does send telemetry data to its developer Mozilla Waterfox does not the only information they collect is your operating system and browser version to check for updates. You also get full access to Firefox add-ons with 1000 seconds of extensions and themes to choose from including support for some of the legacy extensions no longer supported by Firefox after their quantum update a couple of years back when you launch Waterfox the look is similar to Firefox with many of the same features there is a search bar and a handy speed dial to quickly access your favorite websites. The default search engine is Bing Waterfox is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Up next is SM Players, for those of you looking for an alternative to VLC Media Player. If you've used VLC, you belong to one of two camps either love it or you think it's total garbage as employers should be less divisive because it simply works with less bloat. It supports most of the well-known file formats and codecs, so it will play just about anything you throw at it. Other features include the ability to change the playback speed, subtitle support, and you can change the look of the player with skin and icon themes. If you've ever used a media player before, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the interface. The feature I find to be the most useful is the auto bookmark especially when watching a TV show or movie. Here's an example of how it works. If you've not finished playing your media and you close the player will remember where you left off. So when you reopen the media that will continue to play from the spot that was auto bookmarked. SM Player is only available for Windows and the selected distros of Linux. Before we move on to the top 3 make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Let's get into the video. Only Office and Office Suite I mentioned some time back in our free software series and since then has improved quite a bit. Now it's a strong contender to LibreOffice, is the best free and open source Office Suite and it's an excellent alternative to Microsoft Office included with their desktop editor. S is an alternative to Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Their compatibility with Microsoft Word and Excel is nearly flawless, but their PowerPoint alternative still needs work. So if compatibility is important to you, I'd only recommend using their Word and Excel alternatives. At this time only Office also has an online version and products geared towards businesses. It's available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Next up BleachBit is the absolute best open source cleaner you can get to free up disk space and optimize your system. While you could do most of this on your own manually do yourself a favor and just run this program to save your time and possible headaches. It's feature packed to help your computer run more smoothly and to maintain your privacy. It deletes cookies, deletes logs, removes temporary files and clears cache and internet history. In addition, it also cleans dozens of programs including Google Chrome, Firefox, Skype, VLC Media Player, and many others. Prior to running BleachBit or any other system cleaner, it's best practice to back up your system. BleachBit installation packages are available for Windows and Linux along with special editions for Mac OS and email servers. Here's one from my fellow programmers. Visual Studio Code is a code editor from Microsoft that's completely free for personal and commercial use. It's built on open source under a MIT license with the source code freely available on GitHub for the community to explore and contribute to features include support for debugging, code refactoring, and intelligent code completion. It's also highly customizable with extensions to add languages, debuggers and other tools to help with your development workflow. You can also change the theme and keyboard shortcuts it has a great looking uncluttered layouts Visual Studio Code is available for Windows, Linux and Mac. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite free software? Let us know about it in the comments so we can check it out. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff right here on Zane's Tech.